Hey babies, welcome back to another review video. So yes, I know I've been posting a lot lately, but what can I do with this? Just so many makeup launches that's happened recently and I just couldn't miss them because I've not done review videos like for a really long time. So hope you guys have like seen my previous review videos as well. So I recently did a review on the Lisa Holdridge makeup and also a review video on uh, the Rare Beauty's Luminous Soft Pinch blushes as well. So do not forget to watch those videos as well. And um, so if you guys are new here, I'm Shweta Deshpande and I post a lot about luxury beauty and luxury makeup. So it's like one of my pet peeves that I love, love, love luxury makeup. And if you guys are new here, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I also do a website blog where I keep posting a lot of makeup diaries. And actually, even this YouTube channel is part of my makeup diary as well because I just love luxury makeup. I love luxury beauty. And in general, I just love everything about makeup and skincare and beauty as well. So, um, if it's a new year, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And we are just going to get into the new makeup launches that I purchased recently. If you guys have read the title, you guys know that it's going to be all pink makeup only. So it, it's kind of like a coincidence that I recently picked up a lot of pink makeup. Pink makeup as in like a lot of pink shades. Is it a coincidence that I just did it and now I'm doing a video. So I wanted to do like separate videos for each product. But then I just saw everything together and I thought that, okay, I have a lot of pink makeup. So why not do like a pink makeup video only? So I picked up like a lot of products and I'm just going to show you guys. So we're going to be like swatching the Patrick Ta just enough. This is a new shade which is uh, part of their creme, uh, duo take creme and powder blush. So I've never tried Patrick's makeup before. So it's going to be like a first impressions video for me and also for you guys who are part of my channel. And next I picked up the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer in the shade. Um, so it's a liquid highlighter and I picked this up in the shade pink. Um, next, I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Big Lip Clump Chasm. I was really excited for this product launch and I waited, I like literally have added products to the cart and waited till the time this product launched because I didn't want to miss this one. And last is the um, Jizu Honey Infused Lip Oil in the shade Watermelon Sugar. You know, when I saw this particular lip oil, just look at it i mean just look at this particular lip oil it's 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 like every girl's dream you know like those lip glosses you i saw as a teenager or as a child this perfect pink shimmery lip gloss it's it's every girl's dream come true i it's so pretty to just look at just look at it i mean just look at it it's so pretty it's it's like every teenage girl's dream like i had like when i was a teenager and i would see like if i would see such a lip gloss i would just run for it it's pink and it's so shimmery at the same time i just love it okay so what i'm going to be doing is now uh, first i'm going to unbox the patrick patrick tars uh duo creme double take creme and powder blush now i just love the shade and it's like a new shade which they've launched i just love that pink shade and i've heard so much about this blush duo like especially the way patrick Ta applies it so i was really intrigued by this blush especially after hearing you know it went viral the way patrick applies this blush duo so he basically puts powder blush on top and then the creme on on top of the powder blush which is the exact opposite of what I have seen on uh, Instagram and on Reels and what's been so viral all this while. So I was really excited to try the technique as well. And this just look, just look at the packaging of this blush. It's so reflective that my fingerprints feel like I'm staining this particular blush. It feels like it's, it's so, it's just so reflective that I can't stop staring at it. And just look at this shade inside. So this one's the powder blush below and this one is the creme. I've not even opened it. So it's going to be like, a, oh, 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 I, I didn't know that this has, I thought it's supposed to be like a plastic thing that you're supposed to remove it. But this has like another flap to it. I mean, how, how 
creative and innovative someone can be to just have like so i think this is supposed to be there so the powder doesn't get mixed with the creme blush so we're going to go ahead and apply the powder blush before so that's the technique so patrick's best kept cheeky secret lies in his viral creme over powder blush technique so we're going to do that i'm going to go ahead with the creme blush okay I love this shade. Oh my god, and the powder smells so good. It smells so good. I this powder blush feels like it feels so smooth on my cheeks and I just love this shade. Like I've never tried a pink blush that is so cool. Like it has a really strong cool undertone to it and I don't know, it looks I I wasn't confident to wear a blush like this. Like honestly speaking, I wasn't confident to wear a blush like this because looking at my skin tone and especially the undertone that I come from, I felt that this would make me look like a clown, but it doesn't. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the creme blush with this dense brush and just. It's so thick. It's so thick and creamy. I'm just gonna like swatch it first. I'm gonna show you guys the texture of this blush. Can you guys see how creamy this blush is? <gasps> It feels like some sort of balm. It doesn't even feel like a creme blush. Like I have never seen a blush that's so creamy. So I'm just gonna dot it on my cheeks first because I don't wanna just rub the powder on top of it because I don't wanna like rub the brush on top of it and then I'm gonna just. Look at my cheeks. I mean, now I know why people can't get over Patrick's blushes. Oh my God, it's it's just amazing. Just look at how my cheeks look. But I think you know, I I kind of like the powder one as well. Like even without the creme blush, I think the cheek, I think the blush was going well with my skin tone, but. I think I think I took the correct leap of faith by choosing Patrick's blush uh, for the first time like to use a pink blush on my cheek for um, you know just using a really cool toned I would say like a barbie pink blush on my cheeks because I wasn't comfortable using such kind of a blush like when like, especially when I swatched the rare beauty blush as well those shades were a bit manageable because they were very luminous had a very different texture to it also that it was very shimmery at the same time like especially this blush i would never be comfortable swatching a blush like this like directly with with no uh, you know with nothing unique about its texture i would say like if i would had to take just like a single matte blush like especially this shade it would clearly wash me out but i'm so grateful that i selected this one from patrick ta and i think i'm going to be wearing this quite often because it looks so good on my cheeks. I'm gonna go ahead with the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer, and um, now this is like a liquid highlighter, and I'm gonna show you guys. Just look at this packaging and look at this color. It's again a really cool tone pink shade. Now this says on the packaging that it's a 24-hour uh, highlighter, long wear with 24-hour hydration. So let's see the texture of this illuminating highlighter and it's basically like a multi-use highlighter not only on your cheeks you could use it all over your face as well and it comes with this classic dior wand like i love dior products because they're so convenient to use at the same time and it's like i've seen that the dior products have a really soft texture no matter what product you use it has a very unique and a soft feel and a soft texture to that makeup and um, so Dior Forever's concealer is also like another favorite of mine because, because it has a wand that makes it really easy to apply. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this. Oh my God. The texture of this liquid highlighter is so light. And when I'm just spreading it and trying to blend it, can you see the pigment of this liquid highlighter? I mean, it's as good as like the Dior's uh, backstage palette because those because those powder highlighters as well have a really, really nice 
pigment of it but this one surprised me because usually liquid highlighters when you blend them they tend to lose their shimmer or the shine that they promise they're supposed to but this one did not so i'm really surprised i'm gonna just i'm gonna quickly swatch this on my cheeks and i love the fragrance that this product has like recently i've been smelling my makeup a lot i don't know why but i've been just taking all the all the look and feel of my makeup I'm going to blend this with my fingers because I like blending highlighter with my fingers. I feel that when it's when it's my own fingers I feel that it just blends more and sometimes what happens is that especially with liquid products your brushes tend to absorb the product more which kind of reduces your the pigment of the product is what I personally feel but I prefer blending out my liquid products like especially liquid highlighters with my fingers. Like after blending the Dior maximizer on my cheeks it's so easy to blend it and just look the luminosity it gives my cheeks i mean like especially when i swatched it on my hand as well it was so pigmented that i really thought that it would be like my cheeks would just pop up but now that i've blended it it's so creamy and it's hydrating at the same time and it's mentioned as well on the packaging that it is a 24 hour long wear highlighter so I don't think this is going to um, have any sort of creasing or be flaky at the same time considering the amount of pigment that it has. I just feel that if I take like one drop of this product and just blend it on my cheeks, it will give a really natural glow on my face without even like making it look like I've got some highlighter. And usually liquid highlighters do not have this type of pigmentation and they're not that um, I would say pigmented like I said. but this is a surprise for me and Dior products usually smell really really great. The luxury beauty brand as well, they're so easy to use. Even the Dior Forever concealer has this wand with such a big applicator that it's so easy to apply the concealer under my eye. And even this product, the maximizer also has a very nice wand. It makes the application really seamless. The next product is the Jisoo Honey Infused Lip Oil. Just look at this lip oil. So basically, I mean, when I was a, like when I was a teenager, I used to dream of a lip like a lip gloss, like a pink one, especially with this like the amount of shimmer it has in it. I'm just gonna open it and just look at how hydrating it looks. And now that I've opened it up on the wand, it seems like it doesn't have that much of shimmer the way it shows in the bottle. So I'm just gonna quickly swatch it and see how it looks on my lips. This smells like those sugar candies that you get, like those watermelon sugar candies. It smells amazing. It smells really, really nice. Now that I've applied it on my lips, it kind of sets translucent. It doesn't have this pink, like a really prominent pink tint to it. I thought that it would have a little bit of pink tint, but it doesn't have. But now that I'm turning my face from the right to the left, now that I'm turning my face to the right and left, like, the shimmer in the lip oil is just getting reflected with the light, which like, I'm kind of liking it. It already has like a shine of a lip oil, but I'm liking the fact that the shimmer particles are getting reflected with the light. Like I had a little bit of more expectations with this particular lip oil. Like at least when it comes, like the way it looks in the tube, like it, if it had a little bit of more tint, I would have fallen in love with this product. But um, except for that, I think I'm just going to add how this product works because I have really dry chapped lips. I have the habit of biting my lips. So I'm going to see how it's hydrated my lips and I will mention it down in the description below. The next product is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Castle. I was really excited for this particular product so much that I added everything that I wanted to make a review video on and, and waited for this product to launch until I placed the order so I bought this in the shade pillow talk fair to medium so the reason why I bought it in the shade pillow talk fair to medium is because I think the darker shade would have suited me better like the medium to dark one but I wanted to just try a really light pink nude lip like especially how it looks on me so I was in a mood like to experiment and try different shades like the last time I did that I started wearing Burn Spice from MAC I know you guys might think that I'm crazy the shade Burn Spice looks really great on my skin so I just wanted to give the shade a try and see how I can wear this so I think it's very similar to Pillow Talk and this is the way the shade looks it's a really light pink shade 
you know we have seen like oh my god just look at that color the shade is such a pretty pink shade that i i, I think and it smells so good that i just love it i have seen so many lip plumpers in the market recently and i wanted to try them but i think most of the lip and most of the lip plumpers i feel have the the like they give you that warm uh, heat or that spicy effect on your lips when you like apply it like for it to plump your lips but this one gives you a cooling sensation so i'm just going to go ahead and swatch this one and see how this looks I kind of like the shade. Like initially, when I swatched the shade on my lips, I felt that it's going to be really light for me. But now that I look at it, I think it looks nice even without a lip liner. It's just given me like a really soft veil of like a light nude color. And I think the pigment, like the pigmentation of this lip plumper, is really really great. Like you can see that I have uneven lips, and then also you can't see so much of the unevenness even with this lip plumper. The sad part is that I don't think it's transfer proof, but except for that as well, I think it has an amazing pigmentation payoff, and it looks really great on my lips, even without a lip liner. I was quite doubtful, so yes, I can say that this entire video, I've just tried makeup that I feel that I wouldn't be comfortable wearing or wouldn't look great on me, but I think I just did it, and I think all the makeup that I picked up looked really, really great on my skin. So all the product links are mentioned down in the description below. For you go for you guys to just have a look, and I have also mentioned down my reference shade, and I'm telling it to you guys as well. I'm an NC35 and MAC, and according to, and I am a warm seven in the Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So for you guys to refer to my skin tone and also understand what's gonna look great on you guys as well. So now that I'm done applying the lip plumper, I waited like for a couple of minutes to see if is giving me a plumping effect and you can see the difference that when i applied it versus how my lips look right now and the best part about this is that it doesn't give that warm spicy heaty burning sensation to your lips to just to plump it up i said that this is such a really nice cooling sensation on my lips and now that i look at my lips my lips look really slightly plumped and it doesn't look unnatural at all which i am liking about this product and i love the shade like when i saw the shade in the tube i kind of felt that it's not going to be my color and especially when i unboxed it in front of you guys for the first time i really felt that it's not going to be my shade but just look at my lips and look at the color payoff so like i said i love the pigmentation of this particular lip plumper and the rest of the shades and the products that i swatched i make a video as well i've already created them and uh, honestly speaking i had more expectations with the honey lip oil from jizu but uh, it's okay i would still rate it a 7 out of 10 just because it smells really nice if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to hit the bell icon so you're always notified whenever i post a video and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up as well and i'll be back with another makeup video